We're a team of lions amongst a team of jackals. Jackals nitpick little pieces here and there. The jungles rule the kingdom. We eat the prey. We are the lion's den. We are back. We are the finest trained by Starfleet Academy. All right, all right, so number one. Yes. Set a course for victory. Uh, you guys are probably wondering why we're out here. Well, I'm going to explain to you, right? I just, I just got a text. I just got a text. It's Finn Stuck. Oh, how, how close is he? I think he's pretty close. Oh, my God. Look, 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 look. Here's the deal. I only got like a second because these guys are all over me, and I'm obviously not supposed to be here. Rattle Mance as much as you possibly can. The guy's a numbskull. Say La La Land's the worst movie in the world. Make fun of Star Trek. The guy's he's a, he's a nutcase. He's going to lose it. He'll hide under the table. The other guy, Inman... He's a neverman. Don't worry about him either, okay? You guys can do it. Defend the titles. Let's get back to this, and we'll figure something out. Either way, I gotta... I gotta Thanks, boss. Stay safe. Stay safe. Welcome back to the movie Trivia Schmodown. I'm Christian Harlock. I am Mark Ellison. Christian, I don't drink before noon for just any matchup, but boy, am I excited for this team championship match. Woo, doggy. You got to get slammed for this one, buddy, yep. because these are some of the top teams. There's a lot at stake here, obviously. It is the championship. There is a lot of drama behind this match. You have the reigning champions, Team Patriots, Little Evil, JTE, and Jeff Snyder had a really historic run there, and the Cinderella kind of ending at the Schmodown Spectacular. Take the belts off of top 10. They are the champions. And then since then, it looked like they were going on this big run. JTE beats Bibiani, but then they lose their manager. F Makuga knocks Finstock out of the Crushing league. Crushing blow. He cannot even be in the same room with them. And now Trek might have an advantage. Team Trek, a team that when they were formed, you're like, oh, well, it's going to be nice. It, it's a niche market for them. If they hit the geeky kind of categories, they're going to do well. They've been playing well across the board. They complement each other well after some early chemistry bumps. Sometimes they've yelled an answer before really consulting with each other. They have that honed down, and boy, are they going to need every advantage they can have against the rightful champs. Well, look at the story of Scott Mance. I mean, you see what he went through when he played ETC in a 2015 tournament and he was doing really well but then he didn't know the rules of the game he, he bet he bet incorrectly during that time mm -hmm. he lost the match and then he had his feud with John Roca after that one and two start in singles he said I'm done I'm not playing anymore he teams up then with Inman and now they've gone on a run because listen to this if you're not going to like this step if either one of these teams wins tonight which probably will happen um, it is go there one of these teams will be four and oh they will tie our record as consecutive wins without a loss. No, I don't. Is there any way we can fix this to where neither team wins? No, can't do it unless we want to be here all night. And then the Patriots, though, they're looking to be the only team to defend the belts. We didn't do it. Top 10 didn't do it. So the Patriots are here to try to defend those belts. This belt has certainly changed hands a number of times. And unlike even a singles or something like what we see with Inner Geekdom, this thing has so many moving parts because it's a team championship. Chemistry is a factor in this, unlike any other other Schmodown competition, and uh, we're going to see some team come to prominence here. We might see another team destroy themselves. We're going to find out. We are in the midst of title week. It's our second match. We have a new Inner Geekdom champion. Will Team Trek be new champions? But before we get to the match, we've got a big match coming up this Friday. It is the singles championship. Dan Merle, the reigning champion, defends his title against the outlaw John Roca. I'm heated up for it, man. I can't wait. You know, it's one of those things where I'd love to be in that arena. I got a really tough hand dealt to me in the spectacular, but Dan Merle is a worthy champion, and John Roca, well, he just won't shut up until we give him a title shot, so have at it, big boy. Well, and now it's time for Trek's title shot. This is really going to be a match. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yes, Captain. So you got, you got Patriots and Team mm -hmm. Trek, both 3-0, and oh, and we are we are up there. It's, it's We have the exact shot. same record. We made it. We made it this far because mm -hmm. we should make it this far because we got the brains, we got the energy, we got the charm, three things that they do not have. I joined this league for one reason, and that's to make history. I want to blaze a trail of greatness. And to do that, we're going to defend these titles for the first time in this league. The first ever. It's destiny. 
We're going to win. I'm laughing, but the truth is, this is not a joke, okay? The only joke that I see is Team Trek when I got in the building today. We are going to crush them. We're the champions. We proved that in the spectacular. And now, we just want to repeat. Two, baby. Who are we fighting here? Well, we're fighting, fighting uh, Jeff Snyder. Yeah, and who else? Uh, little Evil, JTE. Uh, what, what, wait. You said we're fighting Jeff Snyder, because that's really who we're fighting. That's here. true. We're only fighting one person, really. <laughs> Sorry, It's JT. a team-up match here. I, I got to be completely honest with you, Jeff. I wasn't really aware of Trek as a team. Until very Christian recently. just told me about them, I, you know. Every time Christian would message me or call me and be like, you're playing Team Trek, repeatedly I'd be like, who, who, who's in it again? I said, who are they? is it Mario Lopez? I mean, I just had no... I, they were so forgettable to me. They just... I couldn't remember them. They're, they, they leave nothing to sportsmanship they leave nothing to charisma they're the most bland team i think i've ever encountered in any sport ever. we've been in this three times now we won three times and i think there's only been one time that we've ever hit what we wanted on the wheel we had cameron diaz oh, and then we also bitch. and we also had mixed bag and you know what we excelled in both of them we did categories you know? we didn't want so there's nothing on that wheel that scares us no, nothing at all but god bless us it's a movie release dates. Mm -hmm. The game is over. Scott, the movie Mance, okay? The, he, he sells Blu-rays. That's essentially what this guy does. He, I love this movie. This movie's great. Scott, wh what are you talking about on half of these films, man? Well, he's his own worst enemy. He gets inside his head. And listen, the movie release dates, it's not, it's not coming. It's not going to be your savior today, son. We deserve that belt simply for the reason that we observe the tenets of Starfleet we work together to further ourselves and make ourselves better I don't see that from Patriots I, mean, I see it a one-man show risk is our business that's we're, what the yeah. Starship is all about that's why we're aboard her we're gonna boldly go where no team has gone before Inman he's an idiot yeah he, Inman you're out and to, you know, talk about our glorious manager, Mr. Finstock. Oh, my when God. When it I'm... comes to Scott Mance, he used to have a show called Profiles. From now on, your profile is going to say one thing. Loser. This is my message for the lion's den. Scott Mance, awesome Schmodown player. Me, awesome geeky Schmodown player. We haven't been invited to any alliance. And you know what? We're going to take that belt, and we're going to take it from every Every little alliance that doesn't want us to be part of their cool kids club, guess what? You're not getting this belt anymore. It's ours. What he said. I know that we're talking about Team Trek here, but I gotta say, Makuga, I'm gonna smash your face in, okay? You take our manager, Finstock, away. He was JT's good luck charm, right? Dude, listen, Finstock is with me in spirit at all times. I cannot lose. Now that he is the manager of our team, I don't care what Makuga did, what kind of voodoo spell he put on to somehow beat. Finstock, even though it wasn't really Finstock, it was Mark and Draco. So in my eyes, Finstock is still a 100% winner. The bottom line is, Team Trek, we're going to make you look like losers. And who rules the kingdom? The jungle. We're ready to go, Mark. Are you ready? I am so ready. The question is, is your golden throat ready? Not yet, because we need to go to tail of the tape. There you go. You got the Patriots. Still sounds good. It does. And then you get the Patriots, the reigning champions. Their strengths are Arnie and Sly movies, Tarantino movies, and just being despicable to everyone <laughs> and everything. And then you have Team Trek, sci-fi fantasy you have comic book movies you have classics you have screaming and yelling and not listening to one another not a 401k in the bunch christian but damn if they don't know some movie trivia let's see some introductions are you ready oh yeah yeah, yeah. ladies and gentlemen it's time for the movie trivia schmodown <laughs> five rounds for the team Ooh. championship Introducing first, the challengers. Representing Team Trek, they are three and O. Oh, Scott, the Mance Man, Mance, and Jason Justice Inman. Uh, Team coming out with Trek. a Federation flag. Oh. They, a Kirk and Spock. Look 
at this. All positivity here. Oh, very good. Hugs. I like chemistry. it. Chemistry. And look what a road for Scott Mance. Scott Mance getting his first title shot tonight. This is what he's been here to do. He's ready for the shot. Already he's got people screaming and yelling at him in the crowd. Scott Mance, a polarizing figure here in the Schmodown, but certainly aboard the USS Enterprise, there is no equal. And their opponents. That's different. The star now. Representing what's happening here. Wait, I'm, I'm supposed to not give the intro yet. Okay, they're gonna. They, they told me not to say anything yet. They were dirty water. That is this is not their normal music. I don't know what's happening, but we're just we're waiting for them to wait us out. Red Sox events. Yeah. And, uh, Patriots. Oh, oh wait. Oh. What's this? This is new. Wait a minute. Wait, Look at what's this. this? <laughs> what? What? Uh, Look at it. They don't have the belts. This is like a what Blues Brothers. Where the belts? Thing. They, oh wait. What are they? <laughs> wait. They're going. They wait, forgot they're the belts. They're leaving. Yeah, they forgot. Yeah, All right. We, we, we went by the belts. And their opponents forgot their belts. Representing. Start the the Lions Den the <laughs> with a record of three wins, no defeats. They are the 2016 Team of the Year and the reigning, defending, undefeated, undisputed team champions, Jeff Snyder and Little Evil. This is the Patriots. We Strong word, hate might be a yeah. more accurate one. Well, rubbing, rubbing their the belts, belts and literally rubbing it in Scott <laughs> Mance's face. face. At least you remembered him this Man's time. Face. At least you remembered him. Wow. <laughs> the unclassy, unsportsmanlike intro you would expect from Team Patriots. They have not been shy about being assholes, but damn it, they're not going to win some points here today. They are looking to get their <laughs> first title defense. <laughs> Look, look at Mance. Mance this is the closest Mance has gotten to the belt. Let's see if he can take it home today. Christian, I found this in the bathroom. It was covered in tears. You know who it belongs oh, to? Oh, he's got the beast mask. Whoa. Oh, wow. Was that really in the bathroom? I kind of believe it was. Unbelievable. The, the, look, the Lions then is in, uh, minus the Makuga match. The Lions then has been on a nice run, but let's see. Let's see what happens without Finstock. All right, what's the rules of round one? The rules of round one is you each have a whiteboard, marker, and eraser in front of you. We're going to ask you eight questions from eight different movie categories. You write down the answer of the question as best you can. When it is time to reveal the answer, show the whiteboard, and at the same time you show the whiteboard, say what your answer is. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. You are not allowed to consult with your teammate in round one. It is an individual exercise. Christian, you look at Scott Mance. He has that look on his face like Bilbo Baggins when he came across the ring in Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. Right. He's so close to that belt. Will he get it? We're going to find out five rounds from We're now. Gonna see. So I'm the Gandalf? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I, You're number one. All right. All right. Here we go. You ready? Born Your ready. first question, teams, in the world of animated movies. After getting turned into a llama, a ruler named Kuzco must rely on a peasant to get back to his throne in what film? Can I hear that again? Sorry. After getting turned into a llama, a ruler named Kuzco must rely on a peasant to get back to his throne in what film? Uh, All right, you're going to go five. Fucking at is not four, a Disney animated movie. Three, two, one. We'll start with the champion, Jeff Snyder. What do you got? Spin it. The Emperor's New Clothes. Ooh, that is Coles incorrect. Cigar. It is actually the Emperor's New Groove. That yes, is it is. <laughs> and JTE? New Groove. JTE? Uh, long live Finstock, Emperor's New Groove. Oh, well, there you go. All right. <laughs> all right. And then, uh, there you go. All right, Mance. David Spade, New Groove. <laughs> uh, all right, so 1-1. One, one. Yeah. It's close, Inman shows groove. up. Uh. JTE scores a point. You know, there it's you go. nice to it, see all the competitors be title. so creative. You could just write the goddamn answer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here I we did, go. Mike. Question. I did. It was on the tip of my tongue. I all didn't right. know. Question two in the category of action adventure. What is the name of the first sequel to The Fast and the Furious? Oh, yeah. That's a good sound. Is the like name Michael Winslow all of a sudden. I like that. <laughs> I am not Michael the Mouth Winslow. You're good. All right. He's a legend. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Mance. Too Fast, Too Furious. Correct. JT. Too Fast, Too Furious. Correct. All right. Too Fast, Too Furious with a car at the bottom. Correct. And <laughs> Snyder, turn it. Make, make it a, a full set. Right, full too house. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right. Too, too Fast, fans Too Furious. Of fine cinema. We move on to comedy. What comedic talent both starred in and directed Best in Show? I love that movie. You like that movie? It's where I got this character from, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> 
really good. All right, here we go. Three, two, and one. Pens down. Jason Inman. All right, here we go. And I feel like a, a SAT teacher. All right, here, here we go. Uh, Snyder. Christopher Guest. Correct for one point. Didn't Inman. have that time. Question mark. All right. Uh, JT. Christopher Guest. Correct. And Mance. Christopher Guest. All right, Guest. there we go. All right. So, very close. Patriots only got a one-point lead here. Okay. Now we're getting to the category of drama. The Joy Luck Club was formed by four women in what West Coast American city? You ever, been, you ever participated in the Joy Luck Club? I have many times. I've been kicked out every time. It's not a club I'm welcome at. I understand every bit of that. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, JTE. San Francisco. Correct. Jason Inman. San Francisco. Correct. Total guess, San Francisco. Correct. And I knew this. Oh San God. Francisco. Here we go. All the way around. San Francisco. Francisco. All right. <laughs> and we move on to family films. Your question is, Jason James Richter starred as Jesse in what 1993 family hit? So repeat the question, yeah, please. Yeah. Repeat, please. Everybody needs Jason that. James Richter starred as Jesse in what 1993 family hit? 1993. You know, Christian George Harloff never caught on. You just don't have a good three name. Oh. I don't ever use it. You yeah. are the one that's ever revealed that to the public. I'm Mark Edward Ellis. My initials are me. It's going to count. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. Jason uh, Inman. Oh, oh, Scott, Mance, Mance, Scott, down. Mance, Mance, down. What are we doing? Mance down. Damn. Jason Inman. Uh, total guess, <laughs> Beethoven? Incorrect. You're, Snyder. Th this is a good guess. If I get this, I'm proud. Snyder. The Sandlot. Incorrect. Oh, Mance. I was going to write City Slickers. Incorrect. Oh, and uh, Total guess, blank check. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who is this kid? Wait, hey, Who is not this kid? It's a great movie. Movie. Four, four, I, I just wanted to give uh, the movie some love. Free Willy. Free Willy. Oh! Free Willy. <laughs> All right, here we go. And the cat, so no points around the board for either team. Seven to six. Damn it. Willie. Fantasy sci fi. We don't like Wills. Wills. What is the name of the villain played by Kurtwood Smith in 1987's Robocop? What is the first name of the villain played by Kurtwood Smith in 87's Robocop? Fun fact about Robocop he was part man, part machine, yet all cop. All over the place? No, one, one well, place. Three, two, one, pen, uh, pens down. I almost said pants down. All right, there we go, Snyder. <laughs> I don't like Robocop, and I guess Gus. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> All right, S Mance. Uh, I guess I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Wrong. JTE. <laughs> it's going to kill me once I hear the answer, but I put Simon. No. Uh, and in Total guess, Dallas. No. Mm, we are looking for Clarence. 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 Sam Levine. Oh, wait, that's uh, <laughs> are you, are you an angel, Clarence. Damn. Damn. All right, here we go. Clarence Boddicker. Here we go. We now move on are to... Are we sure it wasn't Gus? <laughs> <laughs> wait, are you sure it wasn't I'd buy that for a dollar? Your question Man, easy there. in the category of horror thriller is, what actress and music star is featured opposite Sean Penn in 1997's thriller U-Turn? That one. Can you repeat the question one more time, please? What actress and music star is featured opposite Sean Penn in 1997's thriller u -turn? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean Five, to. Five, four, four three, three, two, one. Pen down, JT. No. All right, here we go. Uh, Jason Nimmin. Nothing. No idea. All right, no. Uh, and JT. Come on, JT. Uh, Jennifer Lopez. Correct for one point. Uh, Mance, spin it. J-Lo, baby. One point and Snyder. Jennifer Lopez, a.k.a. J-Lo. All Ooh, right, so two whoa. points for the Patriots. Going up All two points right. there now, 9-7. Man's keeping the minute though at 9 7. Yeah, All right, yeah, your it. final question in round really? number one new really? releases in the category of new releases. Oh, this is over. What is the most recent theatrical release by director Morton Tildum? You nailed that name. Thank you way. so much. I tried very hard. I practiced again in the bathroom. You don't have this, do you? Three. You don't have this, do you? It's there. I think I broke this news Two. actually, man. So. <laughs> one. <laughs> Ten down, please. JTE, what do you got? No idea. I just put hidden fingers. Uh, uh, yeah. Hidden fingers? Hidden fingers? Hidden fingers? No idea. Oh, fingers? You mean hidden fences? You, you could not have got further Mance. away from the passengers. Yeah. Correct, Mance. Uh, Snyder. Passengers. Correct. Nothing. All right, so there you go. 10 8 still. That is the end of the first round. The champions have a two point lead. What a battle for that first Good round. Hey, that's round. right. I mean, this is the match we expected for these championship right. yeah, belts so prominently yeah. displayed yeah. on the desk. We move on.
to round two. Mark, how's it work? In round two, as we always have. This is going to get very interesting here. Can I, can I introduce this part of it? Yeah, please do. The reason why this is going to get very interesting for the champions is because bringing out the wheel right now. Who's that? The wild man, Josh Makuga. Wow. Look at Makuga. Makuga, who has dominated the lion's den as of late. Look at him just prancing around, and he, look, look at him. I want you, Snyder. I want you. <laughs> Yelling at Snyder. I love it. All right, there see. we go. All see right. if I'm feeling generous. What are the rules? What are oh, the rules say, two? can you see by Josh's beautiful suit? I the like rules it. are each team is going to have a spin at the wheel. If you don't like the category you spun, you are awarded a mulligan. Whatever category that lands on corresponds to six questions here with us. Each question is worth two points. If you need some more hints, you can go to multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one point. There is no penalty for missing a question. However, stealing is available to your opposition in this round. Teams are allowed to confer amongst themselves in round two. Now, the Team Patriots is up to, so you guys can either spin first or you can defer to Team Stark. What would Bill Belichick do? Uh, I think he would uh, take the ball. Take the ball. We're going to go first. All right, go ahead, guys. Belichick <laughs> usually actually. That, that was a rhetorical points. question. Really There's the spin. <laughs> <laughs> There's a spin it. Shh. There's a spin. You go need ahead. silence to spin so, a wheel. Silence. There's the spin. Sound waves cannot affect not the wheel. A, and we land on sports, sports movies. movies. Wow, that's a big one. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Take it. Take Furious it. discussion Take happening it. right now. Take it. I'm going to spin one more time. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh. wow. I hope you get yeah, release dates. Wow. <laughs> Christian, can I hypothesize? Wait, wait, wait. I think that that was Jeff Snyder wanting to spin again. 70s. Sports. 70s. Any sports. The sports? Sports. sports. No, that was 70s. That was totally That's 70s. 70s. That's 70s. It is literally right on the line. <laughs> All right. So I landed on 70s. And so now the Patriots have a category of 70s movies. Isn't doesn't isn't Matt Manson an advantage given his age? <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. He's like a fine <laughs> wine. All right. Hang on a second. I have more gray hair. <laughs> You're just jealous because I have more hair than you do. <laughs> it's true. Uh, it's true. Somebody, help me. Somebody help me. All right. Help. In the category of '70s movies, Patriots <laughs> in Greece. Where is Sandy originally from? Sandy. <laughs> yeah. I think they're gonna get this? I don't know. We'll find out. They're Three, talking five, a lot. You know. Four. I'm gonna take multiple choice. All right. <laughs> is oh! It, oh! Is, I'm sorry, I don't love Greece. Jeez. Hey. Is <laughs> yeah, it, you're the one. <laughs> is it hey. win some matches? Hey, come up JTE. here. Hey, can Greece we play the match? Concentrate. Is the <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give you no points. Christian, a. if there's one person I thought would love Greece, it'd be JTE. <laughs> a. <laughs> London. I'm a Travolta fan. B. Paris. C, Los Angeles, D, Australia. Repeat it, I didn't hear the beginning. And, because and you're the fucking question. talking your balls off. A, London, B, Paris, C, Los Angeles, D, Australia. Five, four. C. Incorrect. <laughs> Australia. Correct. <laughs> Not the hardest question no, I've ever heard. No, I, I thought that was Hey, wait, JTE, there. Greece is the word. FYI. Right, here we go. <laughs> In what movie do sweethearts Brad and Janet, stuck with a flat tire during a storm, discover the eerie mansion of Dr. Frankenfurter? The Rocky Horror Picture. If yeah. two points, there you go. Back on the right track. Yeah. Now we got 12. Is nine. this the musical category? Yes, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> what was the dog's name in Smokey and the Bandit? Fucking kidding me. What was the dog's <laughs> name in Smokey This is and Reggie the, Bandit. the Snake all over again. Um, you guys, are, you guys five, you can get five points for bitching and Yeah, multiple, multiple choice. Multiple choice. You got A, Fred, B, Duke, C, Sam, D, Frank. <laughs> Christian giving the choices in a very tempestuous uh, manner. We're going to go with A. Correct, for one point. There you go. <laughs> The nice commissioner guess, clearly JT. upset with the Patriots' well, behavior. JT's doing what he does. When he doesn't get it his right way, he, he yells and screams. I right, have a no. belt. You don't. Oh. 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 Not for long. I'll put, I'll put, I'll put oh. that belt. Oh. I'll put that belt in a triple threat match to fucking here to Kingdom Come. All right, here we go. For <laughs> you kids, don't shut up. We're turning this car around. All right, all right here we go. <laughs> what newspaper did Woodward and Bernstein work for in All the President's Men? The Washington Post. <laughs> Correct for two points. There you you better know that, Snyder. Snyder to get that. For the question, love of God. Right? All right, question five. 
The 1970s saw the release of five James Bond films, the first of which was Sean Connery's final performance of Bond for Eon Productions in 1971. What film was this? Okay. <laughs> Multiple choice. Is it, oh, oh, God! God! Is it uh, A, excuse me. A, The Spy Who Loved Me, B, Diamonds Are Forever, C, The Man With The Golden Gun, and D, You Only Live Twice? We get a janitor in case Mance's head explodes. Maybe. We ask you to repeat it one more time. Oh, come on! <laughs> you, only get, you only get one more repeat in this round. Yeah, that's round. fine. You got A, the spy who loved me. B, diamonds are forever. C, the man with the golden gun. D, you only live twice. We're going to take a guess here and say D. Incorrect. Ready? Yes. Say it together. Go. Diamonds, diamonds are, are forever. forever. Oh! There you go. 15-10. Your final question <laughs> in round number two. What 1978 film features Meryl Streep Christopher Walken and John Savage. Uh, the Deer Hunter. Two points. There oh, you go. Oh, right. man. What a testy round that was, was for was Team Patriots. Patriots. Seven <laughs> point lead now. So now the 70s is off the board. And let's see what Trek can come up with. They need a nice round. But look, it, this doesn't guarantee that it might not spin back in Patriots. They Just had one. two steals in that round. All right, Steady go. she goes. Inman, give it a spin. Dude. Kirk trusting Spock with the spin. And it lands on. Sports, Sports movies. movies. What is up with this movie? Yeah, they say no. If, if we're saying no, they're definitely saying no. <laughs> True. <laughs> Jason Inman with maybe the greatest spin that wheel has ever witnessed. Comedy. 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 Okay. All right, there we go. Comedy. So, all right, here we go. So close to Nolan. And movie release dates. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Movie release dates. Son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go, guys. Category of comedies. What is the title of the film? in which Ashton Kutcher meets his fiance's father, played by Bernie Mac. You know? They yep. No one's really seen that. Good uh, chemistry between the two. <coughs> Wait, it's, 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 it's guess who's Five, four, three, Mance was ready to two, two, one. Uh, wait, multiple choice. Yep. Oh boy! Multiple choice. Yep. You don't know it. Give it the right. word wait does not stop the clock. Yeah. <laughs> we'll Your multiple time. choice options are, is it A, just married, B, guess who? C, my boss's daughter. D, a lot like love. It's it's B, guess who? Correct. For one, one point. point. All right, here we go. Your second question. What 1989 film starred Michael Keaton, Christopher Lloyd, Peter Boyle, and Stephen First as four sanitarium patients stranded in New York City? I actually really like Multiple that. choice. Oh, wow. All right. Your options are A, the money pit, B, the dream team, C, moving, or D, must be crazy. Uh, B, the dream team. Another one point. One point. Correct well answer. Well They're inching back into the game at number three. In 2005's Fun with Dick and Jane, Jim Carrey played Dick. Who played Jane? Taylor Leone. Look at that. Two more points. Look at that. Mance. Two Man, more these are, points. These are Just play the game. All right. <laughs> Robin Williams and Cheryl Hines played a married couple in which comedy? Uh, multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are, is it A, Patch Adams, B, RV, C, Man of the Year, or D, Death to Smoochie? Uh, say the question again, if you don't mind, please. Robin Williams and Cheryl Hines play a married couple in which comedy? Five, four, three, uh, B. two. You are correct. Wow. The answer is RV. Two more. Is RV. We have You just two more trust questions. the captain. He steers the ship. Your next question. <laughs> The fictional band Infant Sorrow appears in what movie? Will you repeat the question? The fictional band Infant Sorrow oh, appears in what movie? Uh, multiple choice. Multiple, multiple choice. choice. Your options are, is it A, get him to the Greek, B, high fidelity, C, rock star, or D, almost famous? Five. Four, uh, three. Get it to the Greek. Another one, one point. point. Yes. <laughs> they are yep. chipping yep. away. I, it's your last question in round two. What was the name of the woman who became the object of Lloyd and Harry's desires in Dumb and Dumber? We need both the first and last name. The first and last name? The, the actress or name. the actual character? The character. 
Shit. Multiple choice. <laughs> is it A, Mary Swanson, B, Mary Sampson, C, Mary Swinson, or D, Mary Simpson? Uh, what was A again? Mary Swanson. A. They the, chipped away. We have a tie game. And we have a tie, have a tie ball tie game. game. Yes, wow. baby! All right, so I mean, can we, can we I'm just take enjoying a, a nice My game. My mouth is tired of being multiple game. choice really? options It is a tie here. game, bitches! All right, here we go. All right, so now we're going to get to right. round okay. number Woo. three. Right. Okay. This is the go. betting round. Mark, how does the betting round work? The betting round is simple. The team in the lead spins because we have a tie game. The favorite, the Patriots, get to spin the wheel. Whatever category that lands on, we are going to ask one question from that category. You guys, once you get the category, will write down how many points you want to bet. You can bet from zero to three points. All right, ready? Let's go ahead and spin. All right, holding it at the base. Action, Action adventure. Action adventure. All right. All how right, many so can we up, up to? to three? Up to three. JC, very excited to bet for Action Adventure. Yeah. I have a feeling they're going to bet three points. I think so. I, awesome. I have a question. Yeah. How many questions are there? Only in one. This round? Only no, one. We don't lose points. One. You do if you get. You do. Okay. You, if you, you. you, however many you you bet, how many points you bet, how many points you're going to bet. You can bet up to three. You can only bet up to three, guys. You can also bet zero points if you're not that three, confident in Action Adventure. Two, one. How many points? All right. Show. Please show Makuga. All right, Shimakuga. Do I race now or no? Uh, no, you don't have to. All right, here we go, guys. Your question in Action Adventure. In Lethal Weapon 2, Murtaugh kills two men in his home with what construction tool? That's happened to all of us at some point on in our lives. On my foot. Foot injury. Three, two, one. All right, the champions. That'd be a nail many, gun. And how many points? Three, three. Points. Nail and gun. then the two points, nail gun. That is correct. Okay, for both. they so, yeah, nailed it. Twenty to nineteen. But because the Patriots bet one more point, they go up by one point. All right, Ooh. now we get to the dreaded speed round. Oh, speed round. Like Victory speed round. goes to the Brave in round three, and now the speed round works as follows: Each team has a buzzer. Five questions lurk in this round. After the question is asked. Each competitor can buzz in with their buzzer. Once you buzz in, you have a maximum of two seconds to answer the question correctly. If you get a question right, you get a point. If you miss a question, you lose a point. Once you buzz in, you are not allowed to consult with your teammate. All right, <laughs> Kat, here is the speed round. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. All right. Name a film that earned an Oscar nomination for Jennifer Lawrence. JTE. Winterbone. Winter's bone. We'll accept Thank it. You. We'll accept it. One point. All right. One point. Good old winter bone. <clears throat> All right. Kate Hudson plays whom in Almost Famous? Scott Vance. Penny Lane. Is in Correct. my ears and yeah. in my yeah. eyes. That's All right. Cool. Cool. Name the fourth film in the Die Hard franchise. JTE. Live for your Die Hard. Correct. He certainly there does, as much as Josh McCuga's suit does. Your next question. The character Douglas Quaid is played by... Scott Mance. Oh, Quaid. He's up. So he lost points. All right, there you go. We can gone. tell you what it was. Played by whom in 2012's Total Recall? Yep. Colin Farrell. Oh, uh, I would have been. Uh, didn't wait for that. <laughs> <sun. laughs> yes. Snake in the grass. One. Lost point. I like it. Your right. final question in the speed round. Name a film besides The Bodyguard starring Whitney Houston. It was JTE. His buzzer did not go off. His hand hit it. Go. That was the go. Waiting to exhale. That is correct, correct. for one All right. point. JTE showed well up in that speed That's round. a big four-point lead right. they have going into the final round. JTE really showed up. That was a big round for JTE. All right, so fifth and final round. This four is the championship points. round. Here we go. Mark, how does this round work? This round works. Each team gets to pick a series of numbers from 1 to 25. Each number you pick corresponds to a category up here at the desk. You'll be asked a question worth either 1, 3, or 5 points. Once you get the category for the one-point question, you must decide which team member is going to answer it. The other team member will answer the three-point question, and you're allowed to confer together for the big five-pointer. All right, Patriots, you guys are the champions, and you have the lead. Please pick three numbers from 1 to 25. Uh, we're going to go with 4, 5, and 12. 4, 5, and 12. All right, Trek. We're going to go with uh, 16 for 2016 Star Trek Beyond. We're going to go for 9 
for the original J.J. Abrams Star Trek. And then we're going to go for one for 91 Undiscovered Country as he farts on these amazing movies. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Amazing. So here we go. Then. Wait, what did you read that on, on a Blu-ray that quotes Scott Rance? All right. Oh. You're just jealous. Don't be jealous of his paychecks. <laughs> You're Trek. just jealous. I am. I am. Please Trek, quote me. We start, we start with Trek. Yes. All right. So 16 in the category of Pixar. Who would like to go for the one-pointer for Pixar? Oh, we don't. No. Yeah. I'll, I'll take it. All right. You got it. All right. Only okay. Jason Inman can answer this Vance, question. You cannot, you cannot interfere in the, in the answering. All right. You ready? I'm watching you like a hawk. Here we go. <laughs> Jason. Yes. What is the name of the robot that Wally falls for and chases around? Eva. Uh, that's, that's not correct. Wait, wait, wait. That's, that is, that's, that's the incorrect that's in, letters. That is, yeah, that is incorrect. Eve. It, it is Eve. Eve. Yep. Is it Eve? It's incorect. It like that. It's, yeah, it's Wally. Oh, E-V-E is the name. Oh, incorrect. come on. So, E-V-E. I said Wally's voice. I'll, I'll say this for Wally. If he met Ava Mendez, he's going across the game. Yeah. So that's, <laughs> that's a big miss. That is a big miss. All right, so now uh, we go to Scott Mance. Category number nine, your three-pointer. In the category of James Bond, <laughs> James Bond's CIA connection and friend Felix Letier was played by whom in Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace? Oh, that's uh, Jeffrey Wright. Correct. For and three it's Felix points. Leiter. Very good. Whatever. Felix, Felix Leiter. Leiter. Well, like, out Leiter well, you, the got, you got it right. All right. All right. So here's how it. Well, here, it's still because so of the miss one. on the one pointer. Mm -hmm. The five pointer. Here is what happens. Yeah. If Trek misses the five points then the Patriots will have a knockout and have the most knockouts in the league and remain the champion. If Trek hits it, it will go back to the Patriots. Five points, five pointer, here it is. And your category, fantasy sci-fi. Are you kidding me? There Are you, you kidding me? <laughs> Team Trek gets fantasy sci-fi for their five pointer. All right. I don't believe yeah. what I'm seeing. Yeah. <laughs> what? George Lucas movie was the source of inspiration for the 2005 movie The Island. What George Lucas movie was the source of inspiration for the 2005 movie The Island? Five, four, three. We're going to guess three. THX 1138. Correct! I can't oh, believe that. God. Answer, what a knockout. Yeah. You know, it might not be the toughest question in the world, but the temptation to say to the classic George Lucas movie, Howard the Duck, it, must have been so, so hard for them to avoid. Yeah, like, they avoid how many other movies are there? They avoid the knockout. Australia. Well, there's Australia. Too, Jeff. They avoid the knockout. Shit. It goes back to the Patriots. The Patriots, the one and the three, are very important actually right now. That's right. Your Seriously. one point question, Team Patriots is in the category of crime movies. Who would like to take it? I'll go. You look like you've been involved in more crimes in your life. <laughs> and That's now true. That, I didn't leave any witnesses, so <laughs> you can't prove it. That experience might pay off here. Your one point question. Who plays Michael Corleone's daughter in The Godfather Part 3? Sofia Coppola? Right. Give him a point. point. It's a Give one pointer. Point. It's a one pointer. Give him a point. All right. I might go to Sun Death here. All right. Here we go. All right. JTE. A three point question for you. In the film. What's the category? Your, your category you. is romantic comedies. Jeez. Your favorite. I swear, I swear to God. Go ahead. He says that with his girlfriend well, in the room. Let's, <laughs> let's go. In Good Luck Chuck, what is the reason for Chuck's nickname? Do you want to just explain it? Yes. It's basically every time he dates somebody, afterwards they find the love of their life. That's a good enough explanation married. for me. That's it. That's it. Yes, All right. JT. All right. Ty JT, game. love so that now. So now <laughs> it comes it either the Patriots will hit yep. this five or we go into sudden death. Starring John claude Van Damme. Love right. sudden death. Great. He got John claude Van Damme. You do not win anything. <laughs> Russian films. This is Your five-point question category? is in the category of movie characters. What character has been portrayed by both Kirk Douglas and Dennis Quaid? Five points in the ring. Five, four, three, two, Spartacus. one. Spartacus? Looking for Doc Holliday. 
Doc Holiday. And we move death to sudden death. death. Ridiculous going. path they have had. Sudden death. death. So here, yeah. here's... Kirk Douglas. Oh That's my so word. Of course this is going to end in sudden death. Yeah. So here are the rules of sudden death. Ooh. You guys will get one question. You will not know the category. When you buzz in, that is a qualifying question, meaning... If you get the question cor correct, then you will have a chance to win the game with another question. Mm. If you miss it, then we will start all over again. Everybody get it, got it, good. JT has go. been in overtime before. Thank Your you. question. Who directed Tom Hanks in the movie Big? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What? Jeff Snyder. What? Okay. All right. Whoa! All right. Jeff Snyder. Penny Marshall. Correct. Oh, that is correct. Bitch. Correct. That All is right. correct. All right. It's like there are so many Marshalls. All right. <laughs> I knew that one. It was, By the hair it, on it his chin. I totally had that. All right, here we go. Going with sorry. the judge. The question to the Patriots. We can converse. To Wait, win right. the game. You have five seconds to converse. Okay. Christian, I will defer to you. Yeah. All right, here it is. Who played Rachel Lapp, mother to the young Amish boy in Witness? Yeah. Kelly McGinnis? That, that is, is incorrect. incorrect. Damn it. The answer oh. is Kelly McGillis. Kelly McGillis, not McGinnis. That was McGinnis. really the most it classic JTE we've ever seen. Ever. It is not. Now it resets. You got it. You got it. resets. It, it, got it. resets. it is not sure Kelly. I'm not going to give you it when you say <laughs> McGinnis. <laughs> All right, we are back to the buzzer round. Your question for the field is: Luke Besson's The Messenger is about what historical? JTE. Joan of Arc. Correct. That's right. All it's right. not Joan of Arc. <laughs> Guessing the damn questions. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Back again. All right. Here we go. Don't say anything until Patriots. I clear it. Yeah, got, it, right. got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Patriots. Here we go. You have five seconds to answer the question. Who directed the swashbuckling misfire Cutthroat Island? Rennie Harlan. And ah. your winners <laughs> and still <laughs> movie it's all right. We did good. Out. Team Champions, Little Evil, and the Insider, Jeff Snyder, the Patriots. And you got to think somewhere out there, the one, the only Miss Kelly McGinnis is watching this and is so happy for JT and Snyder retaining their belt. A very, very game effort by Team Trek. That is the toughest battle. Two sudden deaths. Wow, I mean, Mance played his heart out on that one. That was a absolute battle. That's the best match Mance has ever played ever. Inman played it. What a great match. The two of them really battled. Mance showing that he's going to be back in this team league, obviously. That's sure. right. All worthy champions here today, right. but it ends up with the Patriots taking the belts. Now, if you would have guessed Kelly McGinnis, who knows? All right, so now we're going to get to Emma Fife, who has the champions, the Patriots, and the unfortunate losers today, Team Trek. What is up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? I am here with a first in Team League history. The Patriots have successfully defended the Team League belt. It's been quite a run, gentlemen. As uh, much as people are not the biggest fans of yours, uh, you seem to really know your movie trivia. Yeah, I got to be honest. In my heart, she'll always be Kelly McGinnis. Uh, that's just how I always remember watching her from Top Gun. I literally had a process. I was like, the girl from Top Gun, the girl from Top Gun. I, I mean... I'm not great at pronouncing names. I feel like I was close enough to give me the point, but that's beside the point. I gotta actually give some respect to Trek. Mance knows his stuff. I think he kind of carried that team. Edmund hit some big shots too, but that being said, I knew all the comedy answers they had. We would have yeah, we we, wiped out. We had a, a much harder path today. I thought we battled through the 70s. Uh, we did not. We didn't have really an opportunity to steal in comedy, uh, and if we did, it was the last question. So, and I gotta, I gotta give it for JTE here because he came through in the clutch. He was absolutely huge in the speed round. Uh, Trek was definitely a formidable opponent. I mean, it came down to sudden death after all, but today we, we brought it. I got to tell you, I was a little surprised you passed up on the sports movies. I would have thought, you know, the Patriots being a sports-themed team, you might have uh, hit that one so pretty hard. So I, I was pretty confident in the sports movies because there's so much, there's so fewer sports films, but JT said it wasn't his strength, and I want the kid, the, this kid to be comfortable. He's important. Uh, I was, I, we've got a little bit of strategy where we like to try to get an actor or like one category to the point where it's not too open of a field. Right. Sports films, because there's not that many, the ones you might get might be really hard. Because they might be reaching to get some really hard, obscure sports films. I know Chariots of Fire to a certain degree, but if I got something like that, and there's other movies I can think of, like especially baseball films, I'd have trouble with. So, 
I had to go. I had to go to seventies, and I, I felt okay about it. I'm we sorry. did all right. I Listen, think. Listen, I haven't seen Grease since my sister watched it when she was five, and I was in another room. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. Everyone watching New Australia. Uh, that being said, Team Trek, they were the ones that were going to be the, the team to beat, and you guys succeeded. Who do you see being your biggest contenders going forward? Does this league have any? I think we need to recruit from the outside. <laughs> JT? Yeah, I agree. I don't see anybody on the map that could even come close to us. Uh, Trek, I think literally this game is about how lucky you get. They got very lucky today. They did hit some mm -hmm. good questions, but they still had a lot of luck. The luck was against us, and we still won. Honestly, I can't think of anybody. You know, I mean, I've always wanted to play the Schmoes, but even sweeter than beating Christian and Mark might just be a rematch with our old friends, Top uh, Ten. Can I say something? Yes. When we record these things, John Roke is on the sideline, and he's swearing to God he knows every question, and I'm calling bullshit. I don't think he knows half the questions. He just raised his hand like, I knew that. Right, oh, to I knew get that in our heads JT. for future matches. You didn't know that, Roke, because no one's here to fact check you. You're just saying that to build up your legend, and right now you're a legend of losing. Yeah, and uh, as are the Wolves of Steel, right? I think we could, we could probably handle them, too, if, the, if they uh, came into the lion's den. Listen, if it came to be you versus Wolves of Steel, I would definitely be rooting for them, but I think top ten might be the one team that I would be okay seeing you guys win against. Wh whoever uh, it is, we're going to keep these belts. They talk so. a big game. Now, uh, let's uh, talk about Josh Makuga here. Sure. Uh, there's some bad blood between you guys. Yeah, I mean, he came out talked some stuff i honestly i wasn't really paying attention half the time i was just thinking about my next match and how i'm gonna beat him uh go ahead tell him what they say i, honestly don't remember. I mean listen i'm happy to take on makuga i watched his match uh, that aired this week it was embarrassing uh i i when we missed finstock today it wasn't the same with, without him uh, having him out there i was gonna so say anything, your your coach was taken down yeah, anything i can do to bring back our manager and make the lion's den complete i'm gonna do makuga doesn't scare me bring it on dude well, it's certainly been a surprisingly successful run for the Lion's Den as of late. Congratulations, Patriots, on successfully defending the belt. And we will be back very soon with Team Trek. Oh, man, they lost by a hair's width, Team Trek. We know what side you were pulling for. I know. I was totally rooting for you guys, yep. if you can't tell by my attire. <laughs> Loving uh, the play. Loving the play. <laughs> what a match, you guys. Yeah. Uh, that was so great. I mean, we played a really strong game. Yep. We were we were we were like warp nine. You know, I'm glad if if we had to give it up, I'm glad we only gave it up by one point in a sudden death. Yeah. You know, and I and I just want to point out, I heard a little bit of our previous our, our opponents' comments in here saying that I didn't really uh, compete much or give much to this team. Hell I want to yeah, say you had the easiest 1970s category <laughs> I have ever heard. Have you heard of Australia? Apparently you haven't. <laughs> you know, how do you not know that, that uh, Olivia Newton-John is from Australia? I mean, how do you not know that? The 70s <laughs> category was so easy, they should have TKO'd us with no problem. But the important thing is that it was a good game. Yep. It was a strong game. It was a long game. It did come down to sudden yep. death. And I, honestly, I am proud of, of our showing. I'm proud of our teamwork. Yeah, and our we're, teamwork. And we're not going anywhere. We, we, it's showing we barely lost. We're and, not going and by anywhere. The way, number one, I have been and always shall be your friend. Oh. Oh, live long and prosper, Captain. I mean, obviously, you guys are a very effective team because you really complement one another's mm -hmm. strengths. I mean, Mance, you were really on fire in this match. I, I, yeah. You know, I, I wanted to just say I felt very proud because because I got some really, 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 really good advice from my teammate and from, from another very important schmo saying stay focused, and they are both right, and I was focused, and I felt really proud uh, I, of our, of our show. Exactly. Like, the only reason we got to the end this far was because of our teamwork, because Scott just knew everything in the comedy category. And then our last question to tie the game, I leaned over and was like, do you think it's THX 1138? And he was like, I don't know. Go for it. Yeah. That's and cool. and great strategy, by the way, bringing up the, you know, going for the multiple choice option in order to get through mm -hmm. that comedy round when you didn't know any, you well, know, when you were unsure of some of the answers. Well, like I've seen Dumb and Dumber a bunch of times. And I know it's, <laughs> I know that, that Jim Carrey's love interest yep. is played by Lauren Holly. And I, I knew if I heard the name and it was like that with a lot, with, with all of them, all yeah, of yeah. those multiple choice questions. I knew as soon as I heard it, I'd be like, okay, yeah, that's the one. And that's what happened. Yeah, very, very effective strategy. Now, obviously, you guys were big contenders. You're you're not done in the team oh, matches. No. Who Where do we go from here, exactly. number one? Where do we go from here? Where should, where should we set a course? Where should we set a course for the USS Enterprise? I mean, I would say second star to the right and straight on until morning, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know who do we want to face because even though we lost the title match, we're still pretty much on top. I mean, but we're right under the champs now. 
But I mean, is I mean, there anything you know, out there? Like, like maybe we go for top ten. I mean, I know that a lot of fans would love us to see Listen, top fight Roka top ten. Roka is like your Klingon nemesis. Do it's you want to go for him? He is absolutely like the uh, like Christopher Lloyd in Star Trek Three. You know, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put, I would love to throw out a challenge to uh, heroes if they think they're up to snuff heroes. because Robert Meyer Burnett, who uh, um, you know. Let's say he didn't give me a shot at the inner geekdom, even though I knew all his answers. Um, you know, let's see how he does in just a normal game. Uh, it'd be a tough one to fight yeah. because Robert Meyer Burnett, like us, is yeah. a massive, massive Star Trek fan. But, you know, I think I think we should keep people guessing. The question is, who do you want to see us fight? You want to see us fight That's heroes, right. top ten? You want to see Mance versus Roka again? I mean, who I, knows? I, I mean, I want to take on Burnett because he's my Rocky. I don't know. I don't know. Roka's my Rocky. Yeah. No, Ro Ro Roka's your Roka's Rocky. Roka's my Clubber Burnett's Lang. My Lang. Yeah, there you Roka's go. Roka's my Clubber Wait, Lang. Wait, I don't want to even make Burnett Rocky. Burnett's like Rambo and Rambo 3. <laughs> the bad one. So we throw it to you, Schmoville. <laughs> Who do you want to see Team Trek take on next? I I just don't want to see Team Trek be done. You know, no, I, I we're just getting started. <laughs> we're, we're just like the franchise. We're just going to keep making more and <laughs> more sequels. <laughs> yeah, up next it's going to be the Kelvin Team Trek yeah. timeline. It won't be long before you'll see us back in the championship again. No doubt. I absolutely believe that to be true. Well, I I hate to see the nice guys lose, but at least you did so very gracefully and gentlemanly. They as, were an amazing team. Yes, and I'm I'm glad if we had to lose to anybody that it was to that game. And I'm glad if we're going to lose, we did it with grace and style and class. It's very true. <laughs> Great match all around. Congratulations again to the victorious Patriots. Team Trek, we'll see you guys again very soon. And now back to you, Mark and Christian. All right, so there you have it. Look, the Patriots, obviously very, very cocky. And then you have Snyder talking smack on Makuga back there. You've got – now they're, they're calling out us. They're calling out top ten. Uh, then it's, Mance calls out Roca. They want to play – there's a lot going on now in the team league. There's a lot of yelling, a lot of frustration on the part of Team Trek and obviously some elation for the Patriots. But, again, I go back to what an incredible match. And everybody calling each other out backstage speaks volumes about the future of the Schmodown. A lot of stuff going – down here on the Movie Trivia Schmodown, the most important thing is you guys. If you guys are watching, you have to make sure to comment, like. If you want a big match like The Rock and Kevin Hart, it all starts with you guys. If 70 or 80,000 people watch, 70, 80,000 people should be hitting that like button commenting. That's what's going to get the Schmodown to the next level. Thank you guys for everything you've done for the show. Mark Ellis, man, what a match. Christian Harloff, make sure everybody out there checks out the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page as well, created by fans for the fans. We need a nap, and you need to subscribe right here to Collider. We'll be back real soon with another Movie Trivia Schmodown. All right, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans, here with your fantasy update. If you had the Patriots, another five-point bonus for them retaining their title, a high-scoring match against Team Trek. Listen, you should hold on to Team Trek. Okay? They are going to fight again, and they're going to fight a lot. They're a great team, high-scoring team, energetic team. People love them. Hold on to them. If you don't have a high-scoring team or a team you think may not play in a while, try for a trade. Try and pick somebody off waivers. The Schmodown Fantasy League is a lot of fun. Join the Facebook group. If you don't have a team, there's still time. You can play the entire year. Join the Facebook group, Movie Trivia, Schmodown Fantasy League. I'm Josh McCuga. See you next time. Movie fights, slow down. I want every belt. I want to. I want to get in shape and fight in the WWE. I want to win all their belts too. I just. I want to have a wall of belts. Dan Merle has the belt through this entire run. They've all just been in the way of the belt. And what did I say after Bespin? I was coming back for that belt. That's all I care about. That's all I want. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.